it's the color it's the curls it's the lace it's thin it just melts right into the skin so we have a new company on our radar this is Asteria hair okay and this is some of the most beautiful vibrant 99 J color hair I've ever received and you guys are in for a treat because this unit features some of the best quality lace it's the thinnest lace I have ever used this is like celebrity status celebrity type quality i installed this unit twice so i could give a thorough review you know i got you and if you're new definitely subscribe and turn your post notifications on because i'm bringing the slayage this year the color of this unit is absolutely impeccable it's so rich super vibrant and vivid this is one of the best 99j colors i've seen on a human hair wig in a while so i knew with color processing there comes a bit of residue that sits on the hair so i did a light shampoo and i did this about twice because as you might expect there is a little bit of bleeding of the dye with the shampoo as you guys could see and once you do the light shampoo, follow up by doing a deep conditioning set to just rehydrate the hair and add adequate moisture. And if you do a little bit of finger detangling, you can expect this much shedding. With Asteria hair, they do give a pre-plucked hairline and a bit of transitional density, but you know me, I like to go in and do a bit more customization by tweezing behind the hairline as well as on the hairline to create a more realistic look. Didn't have to do a lot of work, but as you guys can see, when I put in my work, I laced it down and that hairline was sitting, okay? Now after tweezing, I tried on the unit and the color of this lace really sent me, okay? This was intense. So I had to go in and use my Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in 355. And I'm going to apply this to the top of the lace and also inside the cap on the interior lace to make sure that I have adequate coverage. If you intend to tint your lace using pressed powder, definitely follow up by using the Got To Be Glue Blasting Free Spray. It just sets the powder so it stays in place. Now, do you see these results? Now we're in business. This is how your lace should look. It should match perfectly. And just to give you guys a before and after comparison, now you know I did my thing, okay? Highly recommend that step. Now for the second install, I followed all of the steps that I showed you guys initially. The hair is about 85% dry after I co-washed it. And because the cap construction does not include an elastic band, I crisscrossed the adjustable straps at the nape. Now this is a larger size cap, so I definitely had to adjust the strap so it fits snug. And of course, I'm so big on making sure that I'm very neat about my process. So the first thing I like to do is just pull the hair away from my face. Now I'm going in with a little bit of like liquid lipstick to mark where the lace is going to sit. And I'm just going to fade it out a bit. And then I'm gonna go in with the Got To Be Glued Gel, and this is the water resistant version, and I'm applying a very thin layer. Be very neat about this. You do not have to clump the product on itself. And with the blow dryer on the cool setting, I'm gonna allow this to get tacky for about 30 seconds to a minute. And then I position my lace. Now, I'm always showing you guys how to install your wigs with the lace still attached, but you know it's important to talk about how to install that wig once you trim that lace, once you cut it. And so this is my way of showing you guys that this unit one is slays but i really wanted to offer you guys a well-rounded review because this is my first time testing them out and so i put this unit to the test now even though this is a larger cap size i found that the hairline did not match up with mine so mine was protruding a bit so i had to be very careful about how i laid my natural hairline down as well as how I positioned the lace of this unit. So my hairline does peek out, but we're gonna, you know, finesse some things and get it right. But it's very important to also clean up the excess gel that you may have laid down. When we want this lace to melt, we don't want any white residue, any tacky mess. And with a cotton round that has a little bit of alcohol, I'm just going to go in and clear up the excess gel because again, this, this area has to be neat. Now the next step, you need an elastic band. This is one of the tightest elastic bands I've ever used, but honey, when I tell you it melts this lace, okay, lace on disappear, okay? I'm not a magician, but you know. Now look at this lace, just it's disappeared, it's gone. So I'm going in with my hot comb on the highest setting and I just want to, you know, pull the hair away from the lace front edge. Now you know I'm team adult swoops. 
not baby hairs. So because I already customized the hairline and you know I tweezed the hair before, I'm just refreshing it and I'm gonna be using the Invincible Styling Gel. Very little bit of product is needed to do this. You don't want to apply too much. It can create that white residue, so just be careful. But the point is to create a little swoop and slick the rest of the hair back. Now I'm gonna work on this area a little bit. So you guys just watch the hand work. And remember how I told you guys my hairline protrudes a bit because even though this is a larger cap, the hairline didn't match up with my own. So I'm gonna do a little bit of like a swoop kind of, you know, to finesse and hide my natural hairline. So I highly recommend this step. You don't need a lot of hair, so don't plaster it. Just be, be real modest. Now tell me, how did I do? I feel like I did the damn thing, okay? Now I'm going back in with an elastic band. This was a little bit more loose. And I'm going to apply some water to the hair. Just missed it because it, you know, it dried down probably about like 100% at this time. So I used that prior to adding the Miracle Curls Leave-In Detangling Milk. This is one of the best curl enhancing products that I use. I highly recommend it. And I like to use my fingers to move it through the hair to distribute it evenly to make sure it's coating all of the strands. And then I like to go in with this detangling brush. Now this is like the magic trick that I use like this is the magic product this brush is everything now when you hold the hair taut and you pull the brush down on an angle look at how it just like super accentuates the curls now one thing about this this does kind of cause the hair to clump together it may even make the hair appear shorter this is 16 inches but because of the way that I like to curl the hair very very tightly it can appear a little bit shorter in the front especially now as for density, this is about 180% density. Now when the hair is wet, when it's damp, it does not give the full 180% density. It's about 130 to 150%, but give it time to air dry. Like at first I was nervous, but I think a better representation of the density is probably like 160, 175%. If I could keep it 100. And don't forget, we're working with color treated hair and curly hair, so I like to go in and add a little bit of oil. It helps with the shine, the luster, and it creates a more hydrated look. I'm just trying to deliver the tea and the sledge. I hope you all are taking notes. But look at how silky and shiny it looks. And again, I wanted to show you guys the amount of shedding that I got after styling. This next step is a little bit fun, but purely optional. So I like to go in with my maximum hold mousse and I apply a very generous amount to the hairline. It's going to accentuate the curls at the front, but it's also again gonna help with keeping my hair away from my face and slicking it down. This is a hold mousse, so it does get a little bit hard. It may have a bit of a cast, but it definitely wears away over time. I had this unit installed for four days straight the first time and again, I'm wearing it, this is about the third day, and again, it softens beautifully, but it maintains the hold. Now I'm adding in some clips here, you can do this, but I found that when the hair was drying, just adding a little bit of lift to the hair volumizes it and maximizes the fullness. So I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and I'm gonna apply this to the part to make it pop, but make it look super realistic. But I did wanna point out the fact that this is a 13 by four lace frontal wig. And so you guys can see the hair in the crown is a little bit thinner than I would like. You can actually see the wefts. So my advice would be to either add more volume to each weft or add more tracks to the unit in the crown, but just be careful when you're parting the hair in the middle especially. Now the hair has dried, you guys see it's full in volume. The curls are super tight, very springy. And when I tell you I am in love with this hair, like I went all out and did burgundy brows, like I was really into this. This unit is gorgeous. Because of the curly hairs, I just wanted to apply a little bit of wax to keep everything in place. I like a nice sleek look. Now definitely tell me, how did I do? Be sure to check out Asteria Hair. I have all of the links in the description box, okay? Definitely, you know, share this with your homeboys, your homegirls, subscribe, 
your post notifications on okay and if you're feeling this look definitely give it a thumbs up i'd love to hear from you in the comments would you wear this look have you ever shopped with a hair thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one